Ladies and gentlemen, episode 22, big time for Crusader Kings. <coughs> 43,000 troops, well at least she's got 43,000. And I'm contemplating about starting a war with another guy, just to grab this piece here. It's part of the expansion of Yugoslavia, and eventually fight be strong enough to outstrafe the Byzantines and grab Constantinople. Oh yeah, don't forget I forgot I own these two parts of uh, Italy. Don't forget that I forgot. Nice one, Lord Master. You're a real scholar and a gentleman. Oh yeah, so I invited a bunch of many, many of my vassals to uh, Kerosene and told some of these guys to convert to Iconoclast, which they did. Whew, that's a lot of them. <laughs> Preparing a small feast, even though it's going to be a big ass party like nothing before. <laughs> and of course they're revoking the titles to get rid of the orthodox peoples and then we'll ins install the iconoclasts so that way we can continue to further on our revolution to make Yugoslavia iconoclast and then it's just a prove a Again, we're only doing that just to prove a point. Lately, I have been experiencing a crippling pain where my missing leg used to be. It distracts me from my duties and leaves me bedridden for entire days. I have never heard anything like it and I fear that the problem will not go away on its own. So I have phantom pain. <laughs> Look at my personal combat skill. Minus 10. Like if I was fighting, I would get myself killed. Which would be fine up to anyone's standards. Now we throw a huge body. Ah, huh? oh, the Patriarch has gotten back to me with two possible courses of treatment. First, there's a simple, um... Congregation with a few dangerous but a limited effect. It recommends surgery instead. It has a higher chance of success and I would risk permanent damage to my already impaired nervous system. Hmm. Ah, the risk is too... too great. Fuck it! I don't care what's gonna happen to me, just do it! about the money. I win. You lose. <laughs> I might have been right to be worried, but everything turned out to the best at the end. It's the treatment has been working wonders and I've been free from my crippling pain and any kinds of sensations for weeks. So now I can get back with my duties. Ah, that's the price of living in a mortal, isn't it? You just have these pains, growing pains, and whatnot because of the injuries. Because I'm missing an eye, missing a leg, missing a bit of a face, and missing my balls. But, that, that's the price of it. What is this thing doing? Oh yeah, I got that. Just increase the bonus of bonus. I thought of a name. Huh. Velomir. 
which I'm naming him after uh, one of my favorite actors who passed away last year, I think. Velimir Batas Ivanovich. He's <laughs> one of my favorite actors in the world. <laughs> uh, God bless him, he's reunited with Boris. What the hell is this? Denmark? <coughs> Who's the king of Denmark? Oh, a French king of Denmark. Another independent kingdom out of Austria and France. Ain't that something? Crusade for Italy and then uh, the Byzantine Zone. Hmm, I didn't know you were a Catholic. I'm keeping both my religion and my friend. Doesn't have to like it. Mm -mm -mm. A nobody, but fine. Here you go. By nobody, I mean lowborn. Always to have loyal friends for whatever I need, especially when it comes to. Uh, Yeah, we just gotta make changes there because we need more troops more than ever from the nobles. Didn't like my friend. I can't fight holy wars, but I can grab history if I wanted to. Thank you. Oh. I'm definitely ready for war. <laughs> oh, why have I haven't done this years ago? My only daughter left. <laughs> why have I, I? Why haven't I done this before? Got a huge amount of troops. Well, temporarily huge amount because, well, whatever these guys were doing. Five thousand versus thirty-seven thousand, and they're still fighting their crusade. You kind of want to keep the money if you want to fight a prolonged war, which I expect that. So give it a moment. Troops you currently have, so I got more than that. Let's grab Istria. This one's for the Duke of Croatia there. 
We're going to make him a better person. Huh, these areas have been looted by uh, those Viking raiders. So this should be easy to besiege them if they've been looted. Yeah, taking advantage of others. Classic. Actually, hold on. It will be one army here and the second army will go up there. And make it quick. <gasps> oh dear. Da da da. Shut the gates. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm having a party with this one friend of mine. And now the measles is in Belgrade and I can't shut the gates. I'm gonna end up like Vladimir the Magnanimous. I was referring to that past monarch because he's the guy that he couldn't shut the gates when the when the Black Death came in and and they were like shut the gates, shut the gates, like it's a damn tornado coming through and <laughs> and he was taken away along with all the others. Oh yes, yes, yes. Shut, shut it. <sighs> I saved a couple of Serbs from the measles. Get up there and besiege them. Great holy war for Ruthia. That's no concern of ours. But then again, I was thinking about taking an advantage out of these guys, but... Oh, most definitely. We gotta hurry up and beat the Byzantines. Recover our strength fast. And then... My pet owl died. I shall light a pyre in her name. I perform a ceremony more official than most would expect for a pet. That owl meant a lot to me. Don't you know? Where did those measles come from anyway? Apparently, they didn't say anything about the measles, but how on earth it got in here? It started right here in Belgrade. Who's this? A lowborn. Throw her out. She's a nobody. What I mean, this place is bad winter. It's only a matter of time before those big Byzantine armies uh, will come after us. There we go. It's all better now. We're only taking these places. Oh, no, no, no. We're taking these. It's just they don't have a garrison. <laughs> have the stubborn trait. There's nothing we could do for them. Uh, the measles are ever deadly. Those brave Slavonians. Yeah, after finishing a hearty breakfast, I belched contently and 
remark upon my foresightness ensuring Belgrade's uh, larders were well stocked. However, as soon as words leave my lips, I noticed a suddenly panicked uh, look on my servant's face. My king, you just ate the very last pickled boar's head, and almost all the other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Furthermore, my servant continues to drone on, and I'm too aghast to listen. No more pickled boar's heads. Set the remaining food to five. Yikes. At least I'm not gluttonous, otherwise that would be a bigger problem. I've searched Belgrade from top to bottom and have come to realize there are really no more pickled boar's heads. Not only that, but all the other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. And the servants should have really mentioned that. Because of my high stewardship skill, I'll implement a system of rationing. People in my court will be uh, having rationed food. So. Crap! Disaster! Belgrade's rats have managed to find my meager remaining food supplies and have eaten much of what remained. Negative one? Oh, man. With food supplies dwindling, it's been brought to my attention that the basements of Belgrade contain a large number of rats which could be caught and eaten. Yum! <laughs> yeah, let's eat rats! We're desperate now. I didn't think... I didn't think that disease would be that bad here. It's a locally disease. It's not as bad as the Black Plague, but damn. Just when we were on a campaign of conquest... Just we were in a campaign of conquest, um... The disease breaks out. <laughs> Finally, something interesting in this episode, unlike the past four episodes... I mean, that was a really boring time, but now we're finally doing something. A sudden clatter sends me running to check on my food supplies. I arrived at the storm just to see Dobroslav emerge, wiping his mouth. Is that my marshal? Oh, that guy! Looks like meat's are back on the menu. I'm eating her ass. <laughs> That's right. The immortal one has become a cannibal. You better do your job well next time or I'm gonna eat you too. <laughs> now if only I can have the cruel trait then I'll be like Hannibal. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter. Not Hannibal Barkin. You're talking about past history. <gasps> oh my goodness. These guys over there in Spain, they've been finally overthrown. They were like the strongest nation in the world. <laughs> Whatever these guys were doing, they must have screwed it up. Maybe it's because they were largely Cathars, so there's no room for them. So... It's been balkanized in a sense. My old patriarch. My court physician. You could be my court physician. Holy crap, I didn't think the Patriarch would go. I thought he was going to live forever just like me. Even though he's not immortal, but oh, if only I could teach him these things. Of course. I mean, who's going to hire us mercenaries? I mean, I wish uh, someone would hire my mercenaries so we could get that sweet payment to get more money out of it. Almost all occupied, and we'll march somewhere. Who are you? Oh 
cook. You got any kids? Okay, your fat ass is mine. <laughs> oh god. I'm deliberately eating people just because of my will to survive. War's almost over though. How you doing up there, huh? Can't wait to... Thank you. County is yours. Corinthia, and that means you have a claim over there as well. And, uh... Oh, the trade route of Belgrade is in dire need of a new ship and equipment to continue to bring your goods around. Yeah, keep it running. Again. Wait for our number of troops to refill to the maximum, and then we'll fight a holy war for Balotin there. Just to have our continual expansion. Line. Business is booming. That's the reason why I can't fight Holy Wars, because she's Catholic, which is a Catholic on hers. Busy. What am I busy on? Oh, that. I think. Is the measles gone yet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Open the damn gates. Ah, fresh air. Find some useful materials in the marketplace if there is any. My hunting parties have caught a great white boar today. I, I am told it took ten men to bring the beast down, and the rumors of the effect of it has on my shoulders already. Sh God damn it! Soldiers is already spreading through court. Bards are already composing songs, my lord. The captain tells me this certainly goes against my expectations. My vision? How could it be so wrong? Proud hunting parties. Hey. what kind of ingredients we'll get as I'm part of this still of that society hermetic society by the way after all these episodes I've been pronouncing it as hermetic but no it's hermetic it's hermetic you heretic regain some of the weight I've lost food shortage is finally over Go for tolerance. Four ingredients. All right. Brimstone, copper, aquaregia, and gold. Oh, it's one of my favorite things to do. We're gonna start a grand debate. After we have a grand debate, we're gonna go to war. No, I ain't going anywhere because, it, ladies and gentlemen, the grand debates and it's going to be sent, <laughs> and these people are going to like it. Stuff. 
Hopefully they'll approve my theory paper. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the grand debate is ready, so it is time to let the debate commence. I hear the voice of, uh, of Bishop, uh, Mubashir before he even entered the room. Bishop Yaya, you clearly know nothing of true inherited divine consciousness. Why are we having this conversation? <laughs> okay, who likes me more? They're both indifferent. There's there's two Cathar bishops for Andalusians. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What is he on about? I think I like your, put your name. Everyone's endorsing my paper. I have been declared the winner of the grand debate, showing that no one is as knowledgeable as me or has the ability to put forth arguments quite like me. The sweetest of all sounds is praise. It was the most successful event. Thieves killed in his capital. Yeah, thank you. Um, are we ready? Just a few more, yeah. Really going at it here. <laughs> Nine years old, I have lived longer than King Nicola, the greatest king of our history. Switching my focus towards war, only for an increased number of troops, that sort of thing, rather than my personal combat skill. So now we are ready. Oh yeah. A troubledoer and his wife, the... The Tobarits uh, arrived from um, <coughs> Ocantania. Uh, their performances range from vulgar satires and pol to political severance and everything in between, including songs and uh, poems of courtly love. <laughs> Aren't I already charitable? Yeah. Okay, that's... Well, the revolt is in a way... Isn't that possible to declare war against those guys too? Yeah. Let's do both. Didn't know that was even an option. These guys are fighting over for gavel kind. Us, this is just for expansion. A campaign of expansion. Yeah, the last time we've gone to war against Carpathia, we had help from the British, but now let's see if we don't need the help of the British just to get our Ambition. <coughs> My last daughter. Hang on. Go to there. Trying to split forces here. Throughout the day, I caught myself grinding my teeth and unable to be focused on anything for long. Suddenly, I realized why I've been in a bad mood all day. I just can't seem to abide having lazy people in my presence anymore. 
Oh, get him to be less slothful when I'm around. I can hate lazy people. <laughs> Unless you're from Dubrovnik or Zeta. You know, it's a reference to lazy Montenegrins. <laughs> it's a little stereotype. <laughs> How's he doing in his war for Gavel kind? And also, I'm kind of inadvertently helping these Sumenisco ones, even though this is their sixth attempt to try to expand it down here, which they keep failing, but... <laughs> I'm doing this just to take advantage of them. Take advantage of the situation. This is probably either the smartest thing I've done, or not the smartest that I've done. Doesn't mean anything, because I'm never gonna fight a battle, because I don't want to get myself killed. <laughs> now we are officially the world's strongest army in in the entire Europe. I don't want to say world because I don't know what it's like for Spain over there or India or anywhere else. So yeah, we can basically defend from any threat. Oh god, that winter is deadly. Oh. Our land of Yugoslavia is just... But well, don't worry, huh? Just don't worry, even though we're being reduced. Eh, uh, let her wait. Ugh. Damn girl. Oh, they hired mercenaries. But they're going the direction to fight their holy war, not to us. These places with Hungarian names that I can never pronounce. Sure, you shall have it. We've got money. Hmm. Most of it. Again, I'm outliving King Nikola at the moment, so now I'm considered the greatest king of all time. Even though. It would be sad to say that I uh, don't have, you know, a perfect body unlike Nikola had. I mean, he never, he never was crippled. He was never crippled. He just died in a coma because he was just too damn old. Screaming arrows. Not the armored chariot. I received a report that the outcome of the military experience that my marshal asked me to sponsor. Apparently, a new kind of self-propelled arrow was tried out, based on the Far Eastern models. Lit by fire, these arrows would scream and fly away by leaving a trail of smoke and then explode on impact, carrying several of the livestock used as target practices. Though the dubious accuracy and prone to failure in rainy weather, these experiences still provided some valuable lessons. Excellent. It's the nest of bees. Fireworks that aren't to explode in midair, but to send a rocket that's attached to an arrow to an uh, inaccurate direction. But that's why you put a volley in there. Based off of Far Eastern models. Yep. 
We Serbs are invented. Just like we invented the magnum magnet compass. How many holdings now? Oh, is that a new emperor? I haven't noticed. <laughs> They're winning. <laughs> Gee, you know what? Come here. Dear Sheikh Abdul, aren't you talking about me? My duties to my family and my vassal this allows me to help me at this moment. I hope the war will turn your favor and wish for you to win the war quickly. Okay, Abdul. We can handle it, I think. Even though we're losing more troops due to winter weather. We're actually, we're losing more troops to general winter rather than anything else. <laughs> Oh, the supply limit's worse up there. That one's more suited. Keep going. I'm sure these guys will will surrender soon enough. Oh, there it is. Be on your duty. There we go. Well, we gotta distribute these holdings, huh? We actually held boss before. In the past, just, um, I gave it away. I don't remember why, I think it was a bit stupid of me. <laughs> Grab this county, then, uh, this entire duchy is ours. Even though I do hold too much land for my own good, but we'll deal with that. And now they're adding a defensive pact against me because of uh, because of my expansion so up there. That's beyond our traditional borders. <coughs> my granddaughter. He has twenty three thousand now, but. They're not after us, they're gonna put their fight against the uh, Sumenisco of the Northeast. <laughs> Which, by the way, how is he doing? These other guys still winning, so we're kinda inadvertently helping him for a time. And maybe I would uh, devote a little bit of money to them. Has anybody hired more mercenaries yet? <laughs> 
Hey, look at our number of troops. It's rather attractive. Oh, Jesus Christ, no wonder nobody would hire that. It's too damn expensive. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't know I really invested that many of the troops. Maybe I should give uh, his touch it here of I'll attend to uh, one of my great grandsons or something. Maybe Velomir. Oh, we got prisoners. Fourteen of them. They're all Bohemians. Women and children. Can't do that. It's wartime. Oh, we got a big score. Uh, hold that war score. Holy crap. I had just barely noticed that. And then again, we did besiege a bit of their capital and took all the women and children. If I were to... I As my troops ransacked the <coughs> castle of Sarborgard, they uncovered an interesting relic that the High Chief Aldrich, uh had hidden there. Amber Crown. Let me see that. How does that compare to my crown of heroes that I currently wear? Oh, it's shitty. I'll give it to somebody else. He's a veteran of many battles and desires to become a champion of my house. Praises my wisdom and one an honor. Duh. And, and he pledges to always defend me and my household. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Get in. We're gonna party tonight. Not because I have a war focus, which I'm putting more emphasis on large number of troops these days. Famous Herald, well versed in a diplomatic protocol, has arrived in our court. He is proposing a service to us, and, and our chamberlains say that we can make a good use of this man. Also, a little bit of money. Cannot ransom any of them. What happens if I were to kill him? Oh, don't even think about it. Yikes, ugly. Person's born ugly. I'm sorry. Matter of fact, since we've been on account of. I'll think of a name as I will scroll through. Natasha, yeah. Alright. You know, I've been an iconoclast for quite some time, which I kind of use as a middle ground to get rid of the Orthodox and get rid of the pagans. But since we got these prisoners here, that's it. Kill them all. Killed an elaborate hunt, burned stake, burned stake, hanged, venomous bites of a snake pit, hang, burned stake, hang, 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 elaborate hunt, hang. <laughs> oh man. This is just my way of proving to the point that don't mess with the uh, Yugoslav. 
Just a flesh wound. You must be mad. Oh, it's not over. Son of a beeswax. What gives? Oh. Apparently I killed all your children. Yep, he's super pissed. So apparently the war continues because... That mass execution that I performed, uh... That I killed a lot of his children. I mean, good lord, I hung a zero-year-old baby. My goodness. You call that a small gift, Abdul? Seriously? We had a pact. Oh yeah, those heathens are still there. Whatever at that was, the message is now gone. By the way, did I get a cruel trait for doing that? No? Wait a minute, I'm a cannibal. Why don't I just eat the prisoners? Yeah. Why don't you eat the prisoners? See how much of a monster that you are. For living forever. I mean, hell, I could just leave this hermetic society and join the, that satanic society just to prove a point. But that contradicts my iconoclast revolution that I've been referring to. Almost done. I think how many held eggs left? Two more in this one and one more on that side then. Go to Austria. Oh they're winning. Word has reached me that an ambitious an adventure Athesig uh, is gathering men in some sort of attack on my territory. I think of assassins. Uh oh. He wants my country. He wants Yugoslavia. What did I ever do to piss off that Anglo Saxon? He's Catholic, that's one thing. Well, looks like I can't take a break from that, huh? They think I'm weak. Well, he's gonna be making a big mistake when he brings his ships to my coast. Occupied it all. Ah, the High Priest Rastos is gonna have a very happy time. By the way, who is that guy? Asami. Yeah, let's go running. Just increase my prestige. Yeah, I'm a one-legged man running. <laughs> Just hurry up and end this goddamn war. People are gonna be pissy at me. It's almost over. Then we can march our troops home, and then um, I can finally, you know, take a break from all this conquest, build up our money, not to mention creating a title, and give it to Velimir, I think. I should give it to him. Oh, and, and give him the crown as well, the amber crown that I stole from from those bohemians up there.
better to keep secrets. I'm pretty great after all. <laughs> no longer humble. Just based on what I'm going through? Yeah. Shouldn't be humble on those sort of things anymore. It's a friendship, all right. These vassals continue to fight each other and grab territory because they think it's competition or something. Oh, oh, oh. Now are you done? my tunnels? No, I got this. We're growing big. <laughs> Yugoslavia's being big now. Big deal now. Vladimir is now a scholar of theology. What's the biggest kingdom that you got? How much money are you doing? I was about to send you a gift, but nah, you'll do fine. Best of luck in your studies. Give him how to handle the sword. Show me my apprentice. No reason for that. Barony of Pecks. Pecks. things done on the fly. I mean, wow, what an episode. We, we can actually handle ourselves in a, in a big war. But I really got to distribute these things. to win. Gargamel. Oh, Cathal. Oh, I forgot. That guy's coming. Well, uh, in that next episode, I gotta be ready for his ass. <laughs> because I don't know how many troops he's gonna be bringing. <laughs> I mean, we are a super strong um, nation now. Just nowhere of an imperial level yet. They, they did it. They beat the Slavs there. And Sami has expanded. The Sami did it. We uh, we weakened the empire together. Let's be friends.
<laughs> oh, if only you could. If only we could be friends. Like buy you a favor or something. Buy you one of my drinks. <laughs> Capable from a religion and my friend. Now here he comes. Oh, that's all he wants. He wants Dalmatia. He's got 15,000 troops. Well, all I can say is bring it on. I prefer a straight fight than all this sneaking around. <laughs> Even though we aren't sneaking for anything. It's going to take his time to get his boats here. Then I'll raise my troops because I want him to get him a head start. Then, then the clashing begins. You still have a target size these heathens up there? Damn. Alright. Even even those Slavonians down there are ready for them. So on the next episode, we're gonna be dealing with this guy as he comes to Dalmatia for whatever reason. For personal gain and whatnot. But we're no longer small. We're getting bigger now. <laughs> so tune in next time. See you later.